You ready? Truly abhorrent that you are promoting cruelty to animals and calling yourself a vegan. Preach compassion yet promote killing, all for money. You are a disgrace to the vegan community. You are helping murder sentient beings without a second thought. I used to look up to you, but you are just another heartless fame whore. Hashtag fully fake Christina, fake vegan, don't call yourself vegan. Shame on you for calling yourself vegan. You're a fraud and I'm immediately unfollowing your horrid page. How dare you wear the skin of dead, innocent animals on your fraudulent, lying feet? You're nothing but a plant-based person pretending to be a vegan. Veganism is not a diet. Veganism is a decision to be against animal abuse and to cause no harm to any being and to not eat or wear any animal products. Still cannot believe what I just saw. Disgusting. Fully Raw Christina is no longer part of the vegan community. We are upset because she continues to call herself a vegan when she clearly isn't. This also comes from someone who says, beauty on the outside is useless if you are ugly on the inside. This also comes from a person who told me, don't just delete your posts, delete your page. You are a fraud. Christina, please stop promoting veganism because you have damaged the movement terribly. I'd suggest calling yourself plant-based from now on. You're not a vegan. I'm unfollowing you, idiot. Disgusting. Please don't label yourself vegan or raw or even someone who cares about animals when you have murdered children's cow on your feet. <sighs> Stop lying. You're disgusting. You're not a vegan. You're disgusting. I hate self-proclaimed vegans but use animal products. You make money off of us. Shaking my head, you're insulting us and majorly helping the leather industry. You are not a vegan. You're a plant-based. Stop. <laughs> you're making yourself look madly stupid. You're a horrible human being. You are a hypocrite. The worst that I received today was somebody telling me that I should kill myself and that I don't deserve to live because I participate in the slaughtering of animals. Hey, you guys, it's Christina. And I'm sitting in my closet right now because I think it would be really good for me to show you what's in my closet. For those of you who don't know, allow me to introduce the situation that's been happening the past few days. Um, I posted a picture on New Year's Eve of me wearing a pair of butterfly heels and I was with some of my best friends, closest people to me in the world that I love so dearly, so dearly. I was having a good time with my family and my friends and huh, lo and behold, I have thousands of comments later on my Instagram and my YouTube and my Facebook. Um, Fully Raw Christina exposed. She has leather shoes. She's not a vegan. She's a whore. She's an animal killer. She's disgusting. She's a liar. So I think it's actually really good for me to make a video addressing this. There have been a lot of hurtful things said to me the past few days. And so I think it's best to show you my closet for the people who believe in me and for the people who don't, for them to see that I'm a person with integrity and I actually do uphold my values and my word and that I've been living a raw vegan lifestyle for nearly 12 years now. And I may not be perfect at it. I've apologized for my wrongdoings. Nobody's perfect, but I still think it would be really good for me to show you what's in my closet. Um, before I do that, I, I do just want to say that I just got back from Bali. I travel a lot and my closet is an absolute mess. I haven't had a chance to clean it or organize it. You're legit seeing the raw footage of it and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad in there. <laughs> but 
considering the recent events of the past 24 hours, uh, I don't even think it's necessary for me to clean it because I would rather you guys see it just as it is and I can actually show you. You're getting to see my closet in real time and maybe perhaps I can do a closet makeover video in one of the next videos. <laughs> Despite what people are saying, I only have about four or five items in my entire closet that are not vegan. My entire jewelry collection is vegan. Everything that has entered my body in the past 11 to 12 years has been raw food, completely vegan. And I've held integrity in that. I've inspired that. I've dedicated my entire life to this movement, to this message. And yes, I have four or five items in my closet that are not vegan and I'm gonna show them to you. And then I'm also gonna show you the rest of my closet, which just happens to be 99% vegan. Like I said before, I've been eating a raw vegan diet for 11 and a half years on July 15th. This has changed my life. It's what I love. I've been doing this hardcore and I appreciate it and I appreciate every single person who has supported me and who has given me hope and faith. And I love every single person whose lives that I've changed, you mean the world to me, and that's why I'm here right now. I still like to believe that I've done a lot more good than harm on this planet during the past 11 years. Through promoting this diet, through helping people get healthy, through my co-op, which has helped to support local and organic farmers, for them to be self-sustainable, for our communities to be self-sustainable through food. Can you say that I'm not a vegan, even though I've done all of that? So there are four to five items in my entire closet that aren't vegan. In this whole big closet right here that I'm about to show you. In the past 11 years, I've done a lot of cleaning out and uh, the four or five things that I have that aren't vegan, I realize it's like 1% of my closet, but I'm here to be transparent and to show you. I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, nobody's perfect at this, and it is very difficult to be vegan in this world today. Before I go in, I do want to say thank you to everybody who's brought this to my awareness, who has been a great voice for me and an encouragement to level up, to step up my game, to purge those last few items out of my life that may not have all of the integrity in the world. I don't think it's necessary to bash someone and tell them that they deserve to die, but I think it's really great to open up a conversation and to encourage somebody here. I mean, of course, I don't have to do this, but I do believe that it's very important for me to be open and transparent, and so that is why I'm doing this. I also just want to say that just because somebody messes up once or twice doesn't mean that you're not a vegan anymore. Doesn't mean that you're not anything anymore. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And it doesn't matter what anybody thinks here. What matters is that I love my lifestyle. I love eating raw foods. I love animals. I love promoting this lifestyle. I love being an advocate for this movement. And I'm gonna to continue to do it because it makes me happy and I love helping people. Despite so many people who wanna see me fail, I'm gonna to continue to promote this lifestyle because it's not about me, it's about something much greater. It's about a message that needs to be heard. And I will prevail in doing so. Even if people don't wanna see me be a part of this vegan movement, I still choose to be a part of it. And I would like to believe that people would like to see one more vegan advocate on this planet rather than to push them away and to not have anybody fighting for it at all. Yep, I messed up. I messed up big time. Posted a picture that shouldn't have been posted. I wore some shoes that I shouldn't have been wearing. I got into this movement for health reasons. Being a hyperglycemic type two diabetic, my introduction into this lifestyle was from food. I became passionate about food because it changed my life. And throughout the years, I've been introduced more so to the ethical side of this. There are different sides to this and everybody comes to this from a different path and with a different reason. And I've always done the best that I can. Am I perfect? No. Am I still learning? Yes. Have I made wrong decisions along the way? Yes. But who hasn't? At least I'm here owning up to it and apologizing. And you know, Maybe I needed this wake-up call. Maybe I needed this wake-up call to level up, to really, really, really open up my consciousness to a completely different level, to really be able to connect with more people and to help them in a different way. And as much hate and as much spoo as I'm getting right now, I'm really doing my best to see everything with some compassion and with love.
so that I can see where everybody's coming from here. And I do understand. Okay, uh, all that being said, we're gonna go through my closet and then I'm gonna talk about my jewelry since a lot of people have wrongfully accused my jewelry and I have a lot to say about that. So let's do this. Whew. Okay, so first I'm just gonna show you my closet. This is my closet. Um, it's a little tiny room, but uh, I've stuffed it to the brim. And I know that this looks like a lot of clothes, but I, I do want to say I'm a little bit of a pack rat. Normally I'm a lot more organized than this, but once you've been to like 10 different cities and three different countries in like a, you know, short few month period of time, this is what the aftermath looks like. And um, I still have clothes in my closet from when I was in first to fifth grade. And I'm going to start off by showing you that first to show you that I don't really like getting rid of many things. I did my first closet clean out, I want to say, three, four years ago, which was really hard for me. I get very attached to certain things. And um, anyway, so this right here, all of these t-shirts right here are all the t-shirts and clothing items that I used to own from first until fifth grade. Oops, I just broke a hanger. These are just t-shirts t-shirts, yoga clothing, more t-shirts, tank tops, all of those are just normal cloth cotton shirts. And here I have some socks. Yep. These are polyester. I just want to say that I don't have any wool or any cashmere or any leather shirts or pants or any other items other than the shoes that you've seen underwear drawer, bra drawer, more t-shirts in that drawer, um, the floor. Oop. All right, let's do the floor. Just so you guys can see, and I'm gonna go through some of the items that I've laid out in a non-organized manner for you. Um, all right, let's do this. Most of them are jean shorts, shirts like this, regular cotton clothing, um, and the majority being yoga clothes, which I'll show you in a second. Just to show you that I do support a ton, a ton of vegan designers, I got these shoes at Moo Shoes in uh, New York a few years ago. They're pleather Moo Shoes, for those of you who want to check those out. Here are some vegan tennis shoes from Stella McCartney. I love, love, love Stella McCartney. I also have these shoes from Stella McCartney. I also have these shoes from Stella McCartney, a vegan designer. Um, right behind me right here, I have all of these old tennis shoes that I've had since I was literally a little kid. Um, these New Balances I've had since I was maybe in like high school. Haven't gotten rid of those yet. The bottom is pretty much worn off pretty sure those are vegan Vibrams, um, old Vibrams here, laying on a basket of stuff. You can see all these clothes right here, no leather, just cloth, right? Handwoven sewn things that I've bought from charities to support women in other countries. Uh, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure I have never bought silk. I don't like the fabric. I don't like how it feels on my skin. I'm not a silk person. So for the most part, all of this is cotton. Those of you who know me know I also used to be a Lululemon ambassador for a really long time. So um, all of this is Lululemon. All of this is Lululemon. All of this is Lululemon. That is a lot of yoga gear. That is a lot of workout clothes. Um, most of my closet is just yoga clothes because I work out a lot, I run a lot, I love being in spandex. Heck, I'm wearing just like a t-shirt with a peace sign right now and yoga pants. That's what I'm wearing. And um, all of these right here are running jackets, windbreakers, mainly Lululemon. Running windbreakers for when I'm outside and it's cold and I can run. Uh, here are some cotton scarves, cotton scarves. And all of the sweatshirts up here, these are all mainly sweatshirts that I got in college. Um, yeah, to keep me warm, but I don't ever use them because 
Um, I'm in Houston now and it never really gets cold. So, my nice dresses are right here. I wore this on New Year's, this shiny dress. That's vegan. These are all vegan. My next door neighbor was like a part of making that dress. Uh, this came from Planet Blue Houston. Pretty sure that's vegan because when I went in there and asked them if they would only give me vegan items, this is one of the ones they gave me. Um, so I do just want to say, as I go into stores, I always do request vegan items when I am shopping for myself. Uh, now, I think it's time for me to show you the items in my closet that aren't vegan. The four or five items that are not vegan. And you already know what some of them are. These seem to be the item that everybody is very upset about. And I would agree. I did not know that these were made out of baby cows, specifically. Um, I've seen some people say that they were made out of bunnies. I don't think they're made out of bunnies. Um, so yeah, there's these. Um, there's these. And uh, these are aquasaurus, but I do just want to say I actually know the designer of these. And I've actually had discussions with him on how he can create more vegan items. And he's fully aware. And he is a good person and he understands. And it was a very interesting conversation to sit down with him and talk about how we can make change with shoes. I feel like that's the kind of change that we need to see is people sitting down with these designers and saying, hey look, let's do a better job here. You don't have to kill innocent animals to create a cute shoe. Um, and after doing research and tearing apart my closet after this whole scenario, I also discovered that these, although mainly plastic, shoes do have some leather in them. Questionable item, I'm not really sure about. These Converse's were gifted to me. Uh, you can tell that they have watermelons on them. They were specially made for me with the watermelons. and. Uh, I believe the majority of this shoe is vegan other than the glue that holds it together. Just learned that. The other item that I wasn't sure that I actually did not know was not vegan were my Nikes, my Nike pumps. Um, yeah, thank you guys for bringing that to my attention. So the items that I just showed you are the only items in my closet that are not vegan. Everything else I've consciously purchased all of the other items in my closet are vegan and I've worked really hard to build a strong ethical closet as much as possible. As you can see, I do have Stella McCartney in here. I do have other products in here that don't contain animal products. And for having all the rest of this other stuff, which I admit this is way too much to have in a closet, I've been building this clearly for a long time. Um, you know, I mean, it's no excuse. Three of them were gifted and two of them were purchased. Does that matter? Is it a learning lesson? Yes, to be highly more careful and to really step up my game when choosing which items I'm going to put on my feet. Moving forward now, I wanna talk about my jewelry because it actually means a lot to me. Um, I've been ripped apart in some videos from other people saying that I am been wearing leather in my jewelry and I have never, ever, 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 ever owned non-vegan jewelry. And I will tell you this because my dear soul sister Lorena and Cynthia have been making my jewelry for a long time now. They hand make it. And yes, they have made jewelry that uses other leather products, but the first day that I ever walked in there, I told them they couldn't use leather with me and to make vegan jewelry for me. And ever since, uh, they've made me beaded bracelets brass, um, these rings that are rolled up, and it's always been a conscious decision for me to have them make jewelry for me that, that best represents me. Like even this necklace here, it's made from brass and stones. No silk, no leather, and um, these women are beautiful women and they mean so much to me. So I'm going to show you this now. I'm sorry that <laughs> everything looks like such a mess right now. But I'm going to show you this. Those of you guys know me, I love my stone bracelets. I have this bowl of all of my stone bracelets here that I've collected from people who love me, from fans who brought me gemstones and crystals and 
energetic bracelets. I have a whole bowl here. You can see I have my essential oils. Um, and here is all of the jewelry that my sweet De Petra sisters have made me. Mostly necklaces like this made of brass. Stones glued together with thread. Things like this. You can see them here. I have, I have my stack of it right here. None of it is leather. And for those of you who've questioned my uh, cuffs, I want to show you this. I've always requested that they not use leather to make my cuffs. I'm going to give you a close-up of one of them. This is plastic. Can you see that? That's plastic. That's not leather. And this is a thick material on the back. That's not leather. Uh, and for the other ones, they've actually used fake pleather. If you can see that, that's fake leather here. Here you go. That's fake leather. Brass and uh, other gemstones on top that they would woven. in. The back is cloth. You can see. I also want to show you that I have this Stella McCartney fake leather bag that my De Petra sisters totally decked out with jewelry here, um, as you can see. And uh, I'll probably be posting pictures with that. So for those of you who are even wondering, yes, it's a vegan bag. And maybe perhaps it would be really great for me to go to their jewelry making studio and show you how they make my jewelry. If you guys want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. Earrings, always stones. So that's it. I've come clean. To further come clean here, I'd like to also say that my luggage set is Stella McCartney, which is also vegan. I don't have any leather purses. I only use vegan brands for that. My makeup is vegan. My shampoo, my toiletries are vegan. Almost everything else in my life is vegan. 99% of the products that I have in my home and that are in my life are vegan and 100% of the products and foods that go in my body are raw vegan. This has been my lifestyle for 11 and a half years. I've dedicated my life to it. You can call me a hypocrite, you can call me a liar, you can call me a fake, a whore, a whatever. I'd like to believe that I have created more good for this movement than harm. It will continue to be my goal to create positive change on this planet. Um, as for these shoes in my closet that are not vegan, uh, I have some options here. I can go and donate them to a shelter. I can throw them away. I can never wear them again. Um, I could do a giveaway. <laughs> there are plenty of options here. And I know that. Um, will I ever wear post them again? No. Oh no. No, no, no. I've learned my lesson. And I thank you guys for helping me to level up. I hope this video has been helpful to all of you, maybe perhaps to open your awareness to the different types of animal cruelty going on in the clothing industry. That maybe perhaps it's not always about food, but that it can be about the food and the ethical side and that there's a ton to learn here. For those of you attacking me, I don't really know what else to say except for that I'm doing my best and I'm trying to make a difference. And hopefully you can see that I don't have skeletons in my closet and that I'm not a terrible, horrible person. I am sensitive. I am kind. I am compassionate. I do love animals. And I love eating healthy. I love eating fruits and vegetables. I can only pray for forgiveness from those who I've truly upset or offended. And I'm sorry. And I want to thank every single one of you who've been there to support me throughout the years. I'm sorry if I've let you down, and I promise I won't let you down again. And if I do mess up again, at least hopefully I learn my lesson. But I can promise you this, I will always try to make up for it and to be the better person. I appreciate and love you all, and thank you so much. If you guys have liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to continue doing what I do because I love it. And I love all of you. And I thank you for being here. Sending you all my hugs and my love.